everyone, so I'm in a little bit of a different location today. I'm just doing like a different bit of my room. Because as I've been mentioning for quite a few months now, it has been really difficult to film during the day, as we have very little daylight left. And this is the bit of my room where I could get the most decent lighting with my really, really horrible, really artificial looking lights. It's not great, but it's not awful. So today I want to tell you about my TBR, or I suppose my MBR for the Diversathon. I will leave links to all of the hosts of Diversathon down in the description below. But this is a read-along or a read-a-thon that run, is running from the 22nd of January and is running for a week. I'm sure the vast majority of you have already heard about the Diversathon, but this is the second time it has run and it is about reading diversely. It is about reading books written by people who have different life experiences than your own. Fiction is one of the best ways that we can learn about people from other backgrounds and who have gone through different experiences and are still going through different experiences. And something else which is really important and the hosts of the Diversathon are emphasising this is reading own voices writers. And if you don't know what that is, I will leave a link down below so you can learn more about it. But basically, it is reading books about a particular experience or about a what it's like to be in a particular minority group that are written by someone who belongs to that demographic, who belongs to that group. So if you are reading a book about a trans person, the writer will be trans. That's own voices. Think If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. At the minute it feels like we live in quite a divided world and a divided society and we're seeing a lot of groups on the rise that are not in favour of diversity and I don't know what to do about it but I think this will help. I think reading diversely will definitely help and expand people's worldviews and it's important. Anyways, I'm going to tell you about my TBR. I feel like I say this with every readathon and every read along, but it comes at such a busy time for me. As I said, it's running from the 22nd for a week and I have an exam on the 23rd and then a week later uh, my research is due in. So over the course of Diversathon, a lot of my energy and reading will be poured into my research. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take part in the group read, but over the course of Diversathon, I will be finishing up on the last Diversathon's group read, and that is Home Going by Ya Jesse. This begins in Ghana, and it follows two sisters. One of the sisters is sold into the slave trade, and the other sister becomes the wife of a slave trader. We then follow through seven generations of their families. I'm finding this one really interesting and really informative so far, and I think it's definitely living up to all of the praise that it has already received. I also want to read Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. This is about a Chinese-American family in Ohio in the 1970s. Lydia is the favourite child of her two parents, Marilyn and James Lee. And her parents are determined that she will be able to live the dreams that they were never able to. But tragically, Lydia's body is found in a lake. This follows the grieving of the family and how they descend into chaos, essentially. This is another book that I've heard nothing but good things about, so I'm really looking forward to getting around to reading it. But if I have time, I also want to get to Toni Morrison's Beloved. I'm going to be studying Paradise by Toni Morrison later on in the semester, and she's a writer that I really just want to properly dive into. So like everything I never told you, this book is set in Ohio, and it is about a woman who escaped from being a slave. Her new life is full of hope, but it turns out she still isn't truly free. Her new home is haunted by the memories of her past, but also haunted by the baby that she lost. Her child remained nameless and her tombstone was engraved with only one word, Beloved. Again, a book I've heard nothing but brilliant, brilliant things about. And if I don't get to this over the course of Diversathon, then I will definitely be just read it straight after. <laughs> that is my TBR for the Diversathon. There isn't as much diversity in there as I would like. For instance, there is no LGBT plus representation. But with this week, I really didn't want to put too much pressure on myself. I wanted to devote my focus and attention to fewer books than I did last time round. Really make sure that I absorb what they're trying to say. It's really important to keep reading diversely even after this read along ends. Don't stop after this week. Keep reading diversely because it is still important. Anyways, I hope you all have a very positive and informative experience with the Diversathon if you are taking part. Let me know what you're reading down below and if you have a TBR video I will check out if I haven't done already. So yeah, that's all from me for now, but I will see you guys in a few days.